Hi everybody, it's me again, T Lindsay B. Thanks for joining me here at 2C40 Games. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. There's more to come. Remember, this is just video number one of two. This one is specifically for Series X. You can run it on the Series S as well. It's not exactly performance friendly, uh, but it mostly has upside. It plays really well, really smooth. It looks great. And other than just getting a little bit buggy here and there, it's not game breaking. It's not quest breaking at all. But that's just because of the combination of mods that I'm using to fulfill this theme. I'm going to go over some of the mods here that are relevant to the Game of Thrones slash House of Dragons theme, including the two uh, craftable swords you just seen. Um, we have quite a few things to address just so you know, because there's just too much to have to go over in the comment section. So uh, the second load order is going to be uh, very similar to this one with the exception of the environment mods. Um, I'm going to make all of the environment mods a bit more performance friendly for last gen. Um, everyone should get to enjoy a Game of Thrones uh, overhaul on console. So I make something for everybody, at least I try to. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing mods on screen so you have an idea what to expect. I really like this armor here, uh, which you can get at the Lover Stone just uh, southwest, I believe, of Whiterun. You will have to fight off a couple of really strong werewolves, Remus and Romulus, in order to get it. But I thought it would look really good with some of the Winter is Coming cloaks that is added here. So... Not only are the winter is coming cloaks that you saw at the top of the load order craftable, but they're also added to level list, but they're very, very rare. So you might see them on an enemy. That's why I have um, the change clothes or ring of fashion designer added to this load order. You'll get that ring at the start of the game, which will let you go into anyone's inventory and take their loot without needing any pickpocketing skills. That means if you see a nice cloak that you want to rock, go ahead and start a dialogue with that person with the ring on, and then you will get a prompt to remove their default uh, gear and then go into their inventory and take the cloak for yourself without having to get into a combat situation. This low order is also going to be very challenging. Um, not like Dark Souls challenging, but it's going to be some tough fights in this. It's going to get pretty bloody against dragons, and there's going to be quite a few high-level encounter zones early in the game. So careful with your quick start, because if you're not geared up and you're not leveled up enough, if you're roaming the world, you're probably going to come across some fights that are going to be really tough to win, especially if it's just you and you don't have any followers. So we have our NPC overhaul. I'm using Lens um, NPC overhaul. An oldie but goodie covers 700 NPCs to look significantly better than they do in vanilla, as well as some KS hairstyles for them. I added the Dragon Queen hair for your player character. If you're going to make a female player character, it's very fitting. Um, if not, you don't really need it. Just, you know, don't add it. Uh, lens covers 700 NPCs, and that is uh, the cause of a couple of our pixel faces. You might find some that I didn't, uh, but that's only because it's got to play where it is. But another mod that I'm going to go over with you guys in a moment is what is conflicting with it. But we got to overhaul our NPCs because we do not want vanilla faces in this. So the Game of Thrones overhaul, this does quite a few things. This is what's going to add new armor uh, to all of the guards and the Civil War factions, as well as some other major factions are going to have uh, their own armor that represents one of the houses from Game of Thrones. Um, this is going to add all craftable armor for you from the beginning of the game and shields, as well as the swords I mentioned earlier, but that's, it also changes the map 
and changes the names of some of the cities and towns like Everstead and, and Dragon's Bridge, I believe, too, will also have new names um, in addition to the holds. And many of the major uh, NPCs in the game will also have names that reflect characters from the Game of Thrones. There are going to be some mesh flickering issues that I mentioned in the disclaimer because this mod, the Game of Thrones overhaul, affects a lot of things in the world, okay, besides just NPCs and adding armor. Um, it also does some uh, retexturing to uh, some of the exteriors of cities and towns, as well as making some interior changes, which is why I did not use JK's interior overhaul, which I usually use, uh, because it's a huge conflict, as well as with the lighting. Uh, the overhaul also makes changes to some landscapes as well. Um, so I found it a little bit frustrating in testing, which is why I'm running my landscape mods below it. Um, I just have to overwrite whatever they're working on right now, because you also have to keep in mind, as I said in the description for the Game of Thrones overhaul, it's a work in progress. They're still trying to fix it. So any issues you come across is just because it's early. So enjoy this. Happy gaming, everybody. I'll see you in part two.